the NFL is salivating over Marvin Harrison Jr. Physically, an unbelievable specimen. His work ethic is through the roof. He is a just a mauler, ball hawk, 6'3", massive, strong guy. A phenomenal athlete, but his ability to track the football while it's in the air and to finish plays is not like a typical second-year player. I truly believe that this man right here on your screen will be the best receiver in the NFL in about four or five years. So what you need to know about Marvin Harrison is route running. He's the best wide receiver in college football. I've seen it. I'm ready to say I know there's some great ones out there, and I'm not saying it's by, by a wide margin. I'm just saying that this guy is as special as it gets. I think he's better than any one of them that we've seen come out the past few cycles, only because there's nothing he doesn't do. You don't slot him, pun intended, into any one particular role. He can move around, he's versatile, he's got such a technician's craft about his game. He is, he is the version of a wide receiver that normally you have to wait a few years into a guy's NFL career to have. And instead, you got it right now in Columbus, Ohio. A lot of pass attempts, and they'll throw to begin the game. And Stroud has a clean pocket and finds his top target. Heisman candidates in August. Stroud, deep drop, and looks and has Harrison wide open. Plenty of time for Stroud. Directing receivers, flips it to the end zone, caught, touchdown! Marvin Harrison Jr. making a huge impact. Linebacker until a shift mid-season. Stroud harassed. He escapes again and it's in. No throw to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown Harrison again. Stroud wants to throw for it. The downfield shot. He drops it in. Touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr. Take it to Anderson, Stroud surveys, throws the end zone, easy pitch and catch, and the touchdown, the second today for Marvin Harrison. Looks left, throws end zone, catch made, Marvin Harrison Jr. with a hat trick. And ready to block here on this third down play. Stroud with a good pocket. Throws it over the middle, and it's caught, and there's space to run, and there's space to run to the engine. It creates such a clean pocket, you're seeing twists, you're seeing movement up front, it doesn't fool them. And then Harrison, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, is able to find uh, an area to cut back into. In Ohio State, that in big games, there's always a player that's going to rise up to the occasion, it was a Buka. And in this particular case, the big player rising to the occasion is Marvin Harrison Jr. He already has a long touchdown. The pass to Abuka for eight. Another throw by Stroud, looking for a lot more than eight. He's got a lot more than eight. Touchdown, Marvin Harrison Jr., number two on the day. Receiver on a touchdown last week. Got a couple of passes early in the game today. Stroud throwing. This time it's for Marvin Harrison Jr., and it's a trifecta of touchdowns. Three TDs for Marvin Harrison Jr., touchdown number three right here. And here's the route by him getting off the line of scrimmage, creating the separation, but at the end, going up. Or in 2000, no question about it. CJ loads up again, and it is in the corner. That's a touchdown. touchdown. Slightly to give him the touch because the officials did, but look at that. So they love to isolate their receivers on the outside, right? Oh. Down so they can read and react. Plenty of time. CJ loads up again oh, into traffic. It's caught. It's Harrison. It's touchdown. Yep, back wide open. There it is. Back to the end zone. Harrison. Touchdown. Right here, they're mixing it in. Uh -oh. Stroud 
zips it across the middle. Harrison's Not running. Free, and he scores again. I guess it's like, there it is. Do you dare play a man? It's been tough. We talked about Brandley. He's the one that took advantage of the miscommunication, took that pick back to the house early, but he's been beaten a number of times. I, I love watching this pick because it, it, it makes everything go. feet again affected by a rush he just kind of did a little skip throws the ball behind Marvin Harrison and he's able to adjust back See, catch there's, radius. The, there's the length and the catch radius that everybody wants to talk about he, he's such a different receiver from his dad Ohio State here's Stroud with time delivers sideline caught trips at the top of your screen here's CJ Stroud winds up delivers down the field caught and a This left foot kind of slips out and then he goes, touch. Oh my goodness. You are kidding me. This guy is unreal. CJ Stroud over the middle. And caught Marvin Harrison Jr. again. Does this get a Heisman candidate as well, Joel Clark? Well, he's certainly going to be in line for a Blitnikoff award. I mean, that's not even all that accurate against Michigan because Michigan is so improved from what they were a few years ago. And Harrison Jr. Opening series for Ohio State, third down and one. Stroud back it up, throws to the far side. Marvin Harrison Jr. Six. Stroud. Sideline throw. Oh, what a throw. Ohio State quickly into Michigan territory. Stroud winds up, throws a deep ball side. Line. Marvin Harrison, watch at the top of the route, a little nudge to create separation. There it was on Jamon Green, and he's able to create that separation, and then the beautiful throw from C.J. Stroud right in the perfect spot. 